Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, so I um, was working on the OpenCV course uh, that was led by the Satya Malik. Actually, it's a very nice course. I will leave the, the link for this course in the description. I really recommend that course. Um, they were asked us to do a project a uh, side project for virtual makeup so i will focus in this uh, project on the lipstick uh, maybe in the future i will do another uh, projects maybe for the blushing eyebrows uh, hairstyles and etc so i thought why i don't just make a video for this project so we can share i can share my outcomes with you guys and also show you the code uh, and also this actually i've been inspired by murtaza uh, channel on the youtube is very nice and excited uh, channel on youtube is really full of information i will leave the link for for the channel also in the description okay so here i will use the pycharm for this tutorial okay this pycharm is really a nice environment to develop a python code okay so here i already open a new project start new project okay so inside the project i will have my python code for sure i'll not use the main see this is the main this is the pre uh pre implemented one I just delete it and write my own code later and also i have this picture name it money this is the my model that i will do the makeup on and also we will use the the dlib uh, library that we will use it to detect the face and the coordinates of each uh, piece on the face which is the for example the lips nose eyes etc okay so let's get started so first of all we need to uh, call the what they call the image inside the code so we will do uh, our process on it so the first thing we need since we are working on the images so we need to call or import the cv to library and as we can see here I believe the open the CV open CV library is not installed yet. So there are two ways of installing the libraries here, either from here. You see when you go on the top, then they ask you to install the open CV package. <clears throat> and here we go, is installing the package. Okay. Here are cured. Thank you very much. So you can go to Python packages, then you search for OpenCV for Python. Here we go. Then we install this one. Okay. Hopefully it won't take long time to be installed. Okay guys, so finally it finished install. It took too long time, more than what I expected, so I will cut that later. Okay, so after we adding the libraries, let's add some comment to know what we are doing. Importing the required libraries. Okay. So first I import OpenCV okay so now let's uh, call the image by using the the command cv2 dot i am read okay then we enter the path of the image and here is the image here so it will be on the main directory of the files where we would uh, project file so it will be money here it is dot jpg okay good jpeg so here let's say we are 
loading the model image. So now we we're, we're loading the image into the variable called img. We we loading the the image matrix in the img. Okay. And now let's let's display it. Let's display see how it looks like. So here we say let's view the image by using the command cv2 dot i am sure. And here this function takes two arguments. The first one is the name. We call it the ori general image and then the image that we want to display which is the image okay let's run the code ah yeah for sure if you see now you see it's already run actually it's already show the image but it will be disappear why because this one we call it uh, i mean the execution of this will be very fast then uh, the compiler will be finishing the will be finish the code and exiting the our code so we need to add some uh, weight mm, the weight we have to add the weight key cv2 cv2 dot weight key okay and we add let's say zero zero seconds mean for infinity or well, there's no delay if otherwise we have to add any other variables or any other i mean uh amount that will be wait for but for this time we just Wait for infinity. Here we go. Okay, so this is our image. So today, in this in this project, we will try to find the head or the face. Actually, sorry, the face of the of the image, and then we will find the the face details. For example, the lips, the line the line of the jaw, the nose eyes, eyebrow, etc. Then in this tutorial, we'll focus only on the lips. Okay, let's continue. Okay guys, so let's continue now from here. So first of all, I would like to convert the image from the color because this is, is the RGB color. So I want to convert it to gray to make the process fast. Okay. So now <clears throat> we type here convert the image to gray. Okay, how to convert the image to gray? We have the variable or the target variable. Let's call it um, gray image equal to cv2 dot cvt color exactly this function this function take a source image which is the image the original image and also take the type of conversation from which uh, color to which color uh, state okay so we convert it from cv2 dot color underscore dgr to gray okay the open cv doesn't read the image as a rgb actually it take it treat the image as a bgr so we convert from bgr to gray and here if you want to see how it looks like after you convert to gray mm display the gray image so we use the same one cv2 dot i am sure in gray image and also the image you want to display which is the gray image okay let's test it out here we go this is the original one and this is the gray so this one we will use it to detect uh, the the face and also the part of the face 
and then after we detect we finish all the process then we will paste all the changes on the original pictures okay so now we finish the preparation of the image so now we will proceed with the uh, dlib where we will start to detect the face so the dlib we need to import we need to import the library import delete okay again we need to install it let we see if we can solve from here directly okay it's installing now hopefully it won't take long time this time i believe my internet is a bit uh weak today so it will take some time let's see how Okay, so while we're waiting for the install, let's go ahead and uh, declare the variable required by the dlib. So let's close this. Okay. Let's close this one, this one, this one. Okay, let's say here, this code is for image preparation. Okay. So this is the image preparation code and here we start with dlib variables preparation for face detections okay so after we finish preparing the image now we go with the face detection so first we need to declare the the detector 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 okay from the delete using this common detector equal to dlib dot get underscore front underscore face underscore detector okay so this one we will declare the detector and then um yeah let's 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 try the detector first then later i will show you what is the predictor will do or mm, okay let's let's declare first as we said let's declare to take some time hopefully this one will be finished soon okay guys i believe now we can continue after we successfully install the dlib library just now my computer was hanged so okay let's continue now so now we need to load the predictor okay how will we load the predictor predictor equal to delib your shape predictor then we load the the data file which is here we have the shape predictor uh, 68 point of the face which is the shape underscore mm, i believe let, let's copy it from here better can i copy 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 path copy path let's see user no, file name copy file name and then we paste it here yes nice perfect okay so detector complete predictor is completed now uh let's start to detect the faces okay so now let's type here start to detect the faces in the image 
Okay. Mm. So the faces will be equal to the detector that we detect here or what we declare here. Detector, okay, of which image, okay? This detector will detect any image that we pass to it. So for sure we pass the one, the image that we processed here, which is the gray image. So we send the gray image, okay? So from here we will detect the faces, okay, inside the the image. Okay, so now after we detect it, let's try to draw a rectangular or a bounding box around the face or each face that we detect because sometimes the picture, I mean from here, let's run this. From here, our picture or our image, we got only one face. But sometimes it might be the picture got more than one face. So, so this comment or this instruction will detect all the faces that been uh, appear inside the picture that we passed to it or image that we passed to it. So in order to uh, draw the bounding box or in order to do any further process on these faces, we need to go uh, loop through them and uh, index each one of them, each face of them. So for this, we need to use for for each face in the faces that we detect just now. Okay, so each face inside the faces, I mean, this one will return the coordinates of the faces that we detect already. Okay, let us comment this first. And we try to print faces. Uh, print faces. Okay. We will see this one will give us the coordinates. Okay. You see here? Since here we have only one face, so it will give us four coordinates for the face. Uh, stop and return. Okay. Okay. Where it will give us the face left face top and face right fa face bottom okay because we give us the, co the the diagonal coordinates of this so we can draw the rectangle okay so now we have to look through and since we know that this face will give us the four coordinates so from here we expect that the x let's call it the x1 or mm, x1, y1, yeah, x1, y1 equal to face dot left. this one we get the first coordinate okay first top left coordinates or actually we can we can draw the face like this or, or the diagonal of all diagonal like this let's say this is our diagonal okay So this just to imagine how these coordinates will work. And here we have another one. So this one here. This one is two. So this one will be x1. Sorry, x1, <coughs> comma y1. 
always draw like this will be x1 y1 this point here and this point here will be x2 y2 okay so this is the coordinate of the faces that we will try to get okay so this is the first point and this is the second point and the face will be in the middle okay so this x1 y1 this one will be the top left top left and the second one for sure will be x2 y2 will be face dot all right and face dot button okay so this one will be top left bottom right these two points and now we can draw the the image uh, sorry draw the rectangle mm, yeah let's draw the rectangle so we draw the rectangle where mm, mm, let us let's make a copy of the image so we can draw all the thing or, or let, let's use the same image actually we use the same image so the image so now we see now after now we want to draw the faces or we do some output so we are not using the gray in the gray anymore because the gray only for process to get the data then after we get the data we will paste it on the original image okay because they will be the same coordinate okay so image is equal to cv2 dot rectangle this rectangle need to take or you need to know on which image you want to draw i want to draw the same image then the top left will be x1 y1 this is the top left this one okay this is the the coordinates if you want to draw any uh rectangle for sure you need to start and stop point the start point will be top left and bottom right then you need the bottom right y2 uh, sorry x2 y2 x2 y2 okay then what else it's need it need the color okay the color uh, let's draw you see now it ask you for the color uh, color but remember the color this color will be based on the b g r so let's draw it because the picture or more i mean that the theme of the picture is reddish so let's draw it blue so 255 will be here zero zero then the thickness let's say three okay so thickness is three then we re re this and re display or review the, the image so cv2 dot i am sure sorry i am sure it takes two uh, the first one will be the title let's say face detected then i will display the image okay let's see if we can detect the face yep beautiful there we go so we can see now this is the original image we convert to gray then from the gray we detect the face you see now from here we detect the face then if you want to draw we draw on the original image nice so now from here we can go further and detect only the lips or only the nose or only the other details okay so now we finish from the detector 
we finish from the detector. Where's the detector? Here. Ready? Finish the detector. Take the face. Now we have to predict. Okay. Now let's run again. Now I get this one takes time because it's loading the the predictor. So now after we detect, okay, this is the face. Now we have to predict where is the details of the face, the the the, the internal details of the face by using the predictor. Okay. So if we want to use a predictor, we have to say. Mm, well, before that, let's try to comment. So here, we will predict the face landmarks. So the details of each face call landmarks. Okay. So we call landmarks equal to predictor. The predictor that we declare here this is the predictor that contains this data file that it will predict 68 points on the face predictor of which image again again since we are doing any process we're not displaying anything process so we need to pass the gray image okay now this image what i want to predict inside this image for sure i don't want to predict all the image including the space that doesn't got a face so we need to predict only the face that's been already detecting you detected using the detector okay so from here we already find the landmarks we already found the landmarks what next after we find the landmarks so we can display these those landmarks on the face okay so as we said here this this data file will predict 68 uh, points on the face so we have to again loop through this 68 because you see here first we detect the face we loop through the faces now we detect the point now we loop through the point so for and in range of of what 68 so for these 60, 68 points we will take the x and y points okay so the x will be equal to the landmarks dot part We take the n part because we loop 68 times of n. We will take the x parts. And the y, we will take the landmarks. We will take the y part of n dot y. Okay, so now we have the x, y. Okay, we have the x and y for each point. So we can easily draw them by using the CV2 circle. Okay, CV2 circle. We can type CV2 dot circle. Again, you see now we are drawing, we are outputting some information, so we are not using the gray anymore. We can use the original image. Okay, so again, this circle comment, as we can see here, it required the image center radius and all the others so now the center of this circle that we want to draw is exactly the same center of each point that we did that we predict here here we predict the landmarks we found the xy so this xy will be the center so it be x y. what else it need we need the radius radius let's say mm, three color since we are use blue set so let's use another color uh, bgr let, let, let's use a green so we b for blue zero green two five five and r set zero okay now thickness thickness uh let's let's keep the thickness because we will feel it actually we will not use the thing we will just 
fill it so we use the cv2 dot filled yes so we don't need any thickness so now let's display the image again but if we print here actually um, if you want to show the image we have to show it here so cv2 dot i am sure this is what this is the Mm, face landmark and we display the image again okay it's fine it's closing the data file here we go you see now let's start from the beginning so this is the original again we find the gray or convert to gray from the gray, we detect the face. After we detect the face, we find the landmark. You see this landmark? It detects nicely. Detect the lips, the jawline, nose, eyes, eyeball. Okay, we take everything nicely. Even though here this jawline is convert, co I mean, covered with the hair, but it can predict it very nicely and accurately. Okay, nice. So now after we detect this. Now we can focus only, for example, on the lips. Then we try to change the color or focus only on the eyes, eyebrow, or any other else, uh, other places on the face. Okay. Okay. Until now, very good. So we have show this, show this. Ah, now let's, because, okay, now we say we want to focus on the lips. Let's run again. <clears throat> We said we want to focus on the lips, but we don't know the lips actually start from which point to which point. Because we have to crop the lips. Okay, we take the mask of the lips. We add the, 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 the lipstick color that we want. Then we will merge, merge it with the original image. But this one we have to know. Okay, start from which point to which point. Because this is only the points. We have to see the numbers of the points. So to add the numbers to the point, so after we draw the circle, then we add, okay, we add the, 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 the number of the points. So we use the put text, okay, put text on the image, okay, on the image. So from the image, we will now add the text, which text we want to add on the image. We want to add N, N is the number okay n is the number that we want to display i mean number of the point and we display it where we display it for sure i mean that the, we want to display on the which x and y so we use the x comma y but if we use the x comma y we see later what's the issue it will be exactly on the top of the point that's not easy to be read but uh, so let's add some offset maybe plus 10 okay then the font let's say cv2 dot font okay let's anyone let's say paint then plain sorry yeah, it's plain then the font size yeah uh, sorry the font scale uh, say 0.8 uh, color color important the color color again uh, here we use the the green let's use the r this time so will be zero blue zero green two five five for the r and thickness will be one okay let's see now Okay. Oh, we got some error. Uh, can convert actually. Okay. 
Ah, I believe this one, this one because n is integer and cannot be converted to string. This is for the n, n, n. So n need to be converted to string. N, yes. Okay, so n. Okay, here we go. So from here we can see clearly. Let, let's increase this then the ratio of the side. This one maybe we set to one. Okay, so now set to one. Let's see how this will be bigger. Okay. Let's add some more X also. Plus 10. Okay. Let's wait for it. Okay. Okay. So from here, but still, still not really clear. Mm. Okay, one, maybe here 1.5. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, we can get a clearer numbering. Yes, yeah. No, let's bring it up. Uh, let's add this one actually minus. Bring the numbers up again. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we can see that the, the points, it starts somewhere from, is it 48, 48 all the way to 60, yeah, it's 48 to 60, so this 48 to 60, this is the, the point that we will focus on the lips. Okay, 48 to 60, let's reduce this to 0 point, uh, 0 0.8, it's 48, yeah. Yeah, 48 to 60, yes. Okay, so you can see that from 0 uh, all the way to 16 and etc. inside. But here's 48 to 60, this is the lips region. So this is where we will focus on. Okay, so this is what we will focus on. So um, before we continue, we need actually to save these points somewhere. We need to save these points, I mean the X and Y point, we have to add them so later we can uh, use them to do the mask or to crop the mask. So let's let's make a list here, okay, we call it the uh, landmarks points equal to NT list, okay. And from here, we will add them. We call landmarks point dot append. We will append x and y. Okay. So from here, we will append all the x and y for all the landmarks. Okay. So now, since we append them, now we have to focus only on this. Let, let's take point. I forgot which point actually is the lipstick. Uh, lipstick is 48 to 60. 48 to 60. Let's add some. Uh, okay. Lips region is at 48 to 60. Okay. So now we can crop this, okay? We can crop this, I mean the lips region by, let's see, by actually if we use the rectangle, let, let's discuss about this again. If we crop the lips region, if we crop the lips region with a rectangle, it will be very ugly because all the rectangle will be act as our mask so it will be very ugly that all this rectangle will be uh, changing the color 
I mean, to be not fit to the lips. So the best way is to crop the lips by following the points that's been drawn. Okay, with this, we will use some function called uh, fill poly to crop the, the lips region. So now we say crop the lip region. Okay, how we crop the lips region? Uh, let's say lip image image equal to cv2 dot fill poly exactly but this one actually uh yeah it needs the image but let's let's continue actually we will crop <coughs> the original one okay we crop the image uh from the landmarks point okay the landmarks point but the landmarks point we will not take the the whole point we take only the point that we mentioned here so from 48 up to 60 points okay we take these uh points and uh, now we need the color 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 let's set it to set to white 255 255 255 okay so now we crop this okay let's see how it looks like now so i am cv2 but i am sure Sorry, I am sure, and here we say this is the lip. Um, uh, I want the lip image. Okay, let's display this and see how. Oh, another um, error. Point. Point for argument point BTS. It's somewhere. Ah, oh, it's need a series here, one here, one here. Okay. Okay need to be a list of points okay again does it like it uh, landmark uh, for my points why ah, I guess this one it should takes an array an array this one takes an array so since it needs an array I believe we have to convert uh yeah this one converted to an array good now actually they are a list so we need to import again the the we need to import a new library the numpy library import numpy as cmp so from here we need to convert the points after we 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 add, 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 add. oh wait actually not ah because here it will be uh, before we convert it i believe this one should be here for so this one should after we find all the points then we take it out yeah this one should be here yeah because otherwise it will keep one of the new points hmm. because after we find the points okay let, let's convert 
landmark points equal to np dot array dot array of landmarks landmarks points ah. okay then this landmarks point will come to here to be let's try now should be okay now nope oh yeah should be here because if we convert to the array already when you come to get to that pen it's no more list so it will confuse the compiler here we go if you see here we crop only the libs region okay uh, this is the libs region but why like this all the libs and okay no problem we see how later so now instead of we working on the original image itself let's let's do a mask so we will do all our work on the mask and later we will paste it on the original image so to do so um, let's define a mask here so the lib mask will be equal to numpy array of zeros <coughs> so the zeros like like what like the original image okay and here we will put all the the the, the one on the image okay so we will put all the one will be put it on the mask so the lip image let's see how it looks like now okay here we go so we see now all will be black but only the lips region will be white where we will add our color effect to this region when we use the marriage or the bitwise match actually we will match them together so the black will be always black and only the white one will take the color then we will add them to the original image so the only the colored region which is the lips will be take effect on the original image okay what next so we we cut we cut the image then we take the the the, the only the crop the image <clears throat> so now let's take the mm, let's prepare the colors oh, okay let let's take um now we i will make another copy of the image but not the mask one but i will take only the the what they call the the lips uh colored image okay so from here i'll say the lip image colored equal to numpy dot zeros sorry dot zero like mm, like the lip image okay so now let's display this cv2 dot i am sure so this is the color lip image we display the lip image color let's see how it looks like Why it doesn't show all black? Yeah, for sure, because this is actually we make it all black actually, so that's why it's all black. Okay. 
because we're not doing anything yet so if you want to see the uh, we have to add the what they call the later we add the colors then we can see the difference so here we can say set the manual uh, color for the lip so here we use the p g sorry we use the b g and r so the blue here we will set it manually and the nearest tutorial in the future tutorial we will teach you i will teach you how to use the the some bars or some slide bar to select the color or maybe use the pick picker to pick the color okay let's make it blue let's say 255 green one then the red 255 okay then we can say that the image color okay the the one the one we we and uh, just say uh where where which we we define here this one the lip image oh sorry the lip image color of the range of the full color will be equal to b g r for sure this one need to be separated this is the three channels so now okay so this one this one actually is just to take the dimension of the image okay now i will convert it to bgr so now <coughs> sorry if i come here i will say cut it then i will use it here then i'm sure again we will see the lead color after we merge the three colors see so now i got this one this is the lip and this is the lip color so after we merge them we merge them then this one all be black and this only the white region will be same like this color okay so now we can say okay so lip image color equal to cv2 dot bitwise bitwise n so we all the black color will be maintained black <coughs> because n <coughs> we will take what okay we will take the lip image okay we will take the lip image that we find the poly just now so we find the lip image okay this is the lip image that we calculate the poly with what with the with the color that we with the color that we make just now we made it so lip image color here we go so now if we show this now we can see that all of it will be black but only the white one will be maintained <coughs> same like the color okay but now if we make it like this <clears throat> sorry if we maintain like this we can see that the edges the edges of the lip is too sharp and when we put this too sharp on here it will be not really nice so we have to blur it a bit to blur the edges of the uh, of the lip okay how to do so by using the gaussian blur so uh lip image color equal to cv2 dot gaussian blur uh, sorry gaussian blur okay of the lip image color itself okay now we choose the kernel size the kernel size let's say let's take it seven by seven and blur by uh, we will blur it by sigma equal to x uh, sorry uh, the sigma equal to 10 
And now let's see how it looks like after we blur it. We will see. Okay, we see now the edges is very smooth now. So when we combine or uh, merge it with the original uh, picture, it will not be very sharp. Okay, so now the the fun part is to merge these two together. The lip <coughs> image color <coughs> with a new color. And this is actually the new colored lip we now we we add it to the original image how to add to the image to the original image now we see the final the final makeup equal to equal to what cv2 dot add weight add weighted okay we will add weighted the two uh we will add weighted the two images i will say it's the image the original image with what ah the original image what is the weight of the or the alpha of the original image we will add the full complete original image then the source two or the second image which is the the one we we we, we make just now the, the lip image so the lip image color this one I will blend it with 0.6. This one later you can play around to see which number is good for you to blend. And gamma just set it to zero. And then let's see, let's display what is the final. This is the final and uh, this is here also the final. So let's check now, hopefully, finger cross, hopefully by now we can see the lips. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We can see this is the final, but again, let's see the sequence. So this start from here. We find the original image converted to the gray. Then from the gray, we find the, let's bring this back. <coughs> we find the face, detect the face. Then from the face, we predict the, the, the point, the landmark point, and from there we find the mask. I believe we somewhere we didn't print out the mask anymore. Then from the mask we add the the color to the mask. Then from the mask we uh, display. Uh, sorry, this is the mask. Yeah, here is it, the mask. So after we find the landmarks, let's put it here. Landmarks, and from the landmarks we find the mask. Then from the mask add the color, and we from the color we merge or we add weight the color lips with the original uh, image to find this so now if we take out the, um, the, the 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 circles that detect the numbers and also the number of the point we will end up with the final one <clears throat> here we go ah let's take out the rectangle also rectangle rectangle where, where did we draw the rectangle uh, so, so here's the film this one rectangle rectangle after we draw that landmarks ah, here is it so no need to rectangle anymore okay here we go nice and with this we can also we change the color up to us let's say i don't want blue we set here to zero we add green to 24 here 25 let's see the mix of this color here we go it's, it's pinkish let's add more maybe to 40 green make it more saturated here we go now it's green to yellow Maybe you can add this zero, this yes, 2200. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let me actually, uh, let me do something to show all the steps. So let's open this, open this. Uh, this is always rectangle and just now I am sure the rectangle and make a copy of this okay let's make a copy uh, from here 
Final, final image equal to uh, img dot copy. Okay, we copy this and we use the final image here, so we will not overlap any one. So use this one, the final one with this. Yes, uh, okay. So let's try again. Now we will see the final one will not be interrupted. With the others yes here we go so now we can see all the, the steps so this is the original convert to gray detect the face after we detect the face uh, let's print mm, yeah, yeah let, let, let me show you something let's copy this make it faster uh, where's the one with the color here, here, bitwise? Oh, here. Yeah, let's take it here. Here, and we say this is the lip color. And lip color. Okay. We almost finish. Uh, okay, for sure, this one just for... For me to show you the steps for the final, we don't need all these extra steps. Uh, this is the color, this is the one, this is the mask. So, so original, convert to gray, find the, the face, we take the landmarks. From the landmark, we find the, we find the lips, okay? From the lips, we find the, we find, let's put it like this, okay? Then from the lips, we calculate the color, we endwise this to find only the colored region, Then from the colored region, we add weight to the original one, and here we go. Okay, so this is the steps. I don't think we can fit it to one screen, but yeah, here is the completed steps. Let's add this one here. This is the mask. So this is the complete steps. Original, convert to gray. From the gray, we find the face. Landmarks, from the landmarks, we focus only on the lips. From the lips, we will find the region, calculate the color, endwise these two. Then from the endwise, we find only the colored one. From the colored one, we will add weight to the original one. And here we go. So with this, we will finalize our project or tutorial for this day i hope you have learned something and this one actually uh, is not, i don't want to say this is the optimal way for sure there's a lot of uh, um, optimal ways out there you can find but for me i find this is the most suitable fast and easy to learn method to do some virtual makeup and especially focus on the lipstick okay and from here we have reached to the end of our tutorial. Thank you very much. Anything, please let me know in the comment. Thank you very much and see you soon for the next tutorial. And also, again, I forgot to highlight that in the next tutorial, I will teach you how to implement the scroll bars, where these scroll bars, we will use it to control the RGB colors of the lips. So we do it automatically without manually change it inside the code. So thank you very much again and see you soon.